Hi again. Let's continue our discussion of this JavaScript thing. So here we are. And in the last video, I was just talking about, you know, all of the variables and functions we've created and how they're kind of cluttering our JavaScript space with all these names, right? And how it would be nice if we put all of our stuff into a single object. So that object only took up one name and everything else was stored inside it, right? And so what I'd like to do is I'd like to challenge you to go through the shopping cart and create a variable to represent the shopping cart and then attach all of the functions to it. Okay, all the functions and the properties and you know variables that we made down here. Okay, and you can kind of follow the model that I did in the last video. So you can stop the video now and try it on your own, and then I'm going to go through it in a moment and, uh, and do it for you, okay? But you should try it on your own first. Okay, so here I am, and what I'm going to do is let me, let me delete all this for the moment here, right? And then we'll get started. So what if I made a variable called, you know, shopping cart, right? And I created a, an object here. So I set it equal to an object. And <clears throat> like I said earlier, the um, this function here, display cart, I'm kind of using that separate from, from the, the regular shopping cart. So I'm going to leave that one out of the system for right now. And then maybe I'll just take all this right here just to make it a little more convenient. I'll go down here to where we have our shopping cart functions. I've got, got a comment there to kind of, you know, mark them. And then I'm just going to work my way down this list and assign each one of these things to the shopping cart, okay? And then there's going to be some other little bits that we're going to have to make some small changes to, okay? So let's get started. So here we are. I have a, a variable called cart. So I'm going to cut that, and I'll just... As I make these things, I'll just move them up to the top here like this. So I don't want cart to be its own variable. Instead, I want it to be attached to shopping cart. There you go. So now cart belongs to shopping cart. It's a property of shopping cart. And then I have this function called item here. So let's cut that. And then I'll put it here. And what I want to do is <clears throat> assign it to uh, to shopping cart, okay? And then we've got the, you know, add item function. So I'll cut this. And when I'm doing this, I'm, I'm being careful to make sure that I get the whole thing. So this is the complete block that belongs to this function. I can't leave the the curly bracket behind. So if I'm not careful when I cut that, if I leave this behind, then you know the part of the function I have on the clipboard is not complete, and then this character is going to throw an error if it's just sitting out here by itself, right? So you know, don't don't just do this super quick. You know, look at every block of code as you as you move it, right? So I'll, I'll cut this one out. And then I'll add it up at the top here. Let's say, okay, now now this one is written in a different form, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the name here, put it on this side, like that. So we got, you know, add item to cart equals function, name price count, right? And then... Uh, Then we'll put, you know, shopping cart dot add item to cart here, okay? And then uh, maybe I'll put a space in there, right? So now we got that one. Now let's try remove item from cart, okay? So I'll get the whole thing cut. And then uh, we'll do the same process here, paste. And I'll want to move the name over to this side. Put the equal sign in between here. So now we're, you know, name equals function, and that's okay. 
and then we'll get the shopping cart variable name and put it in front of the name with a dot to make this a property of shopping cart. Okay, so now we're getting somewhere. Let's get this next one here. And uh, technically, like if we have the equal sign here, this guy's supposed to end in a semicolon. I, I, I left it off on these other ones, but uh, that one's technically, I think it's supposed to have a semicolon there. Don't worry if you if you miss that. Okay, so so there's my function. I'll cut the name. I'll put it here with the equal sign. We'll go a little faster now. Copy this. Do you notice how I use copy and paste to my advantage, right? You know, if I typed shopping cart every time, I would I would probably type this lowercase once by accident. So, you know, um, yeah, use copy and paste. It's okay. So we'll cut this one here, and then I'll put it up here like this, and then we'll cut that, put it over on this side, equal sign in between, right? We'll go get shopping cart. Maybe I'll copy it with the dot this time. Paste it here. Hey, we're almost done. We'll get this whole function here for count cart. Right. Hopefully you did this on your own, so you're already done. You know, you can skip ahead. There we go. Oops, wait. Did I make a mistake there? I think it's got to look like this, right? I put the dot. should have been the equal sign. I'm getting sloppy. Okay, there we go. So that looks pretty good. And then we'll cut that one, and we'll... Put it up here, move this thing to the other side, like this, get shopping cart name, put it here with a dot, next we'll do list cart, I think there's just a couple more, there we go, we'll get the name, put it here, equal sign, Shopping cart, right? Let's see. So now we got these last two. You know, I'll just cut these out of there, right? Get them both and paste them up here. Move this thing over. Equal sign. We'll do the same over here. And there we go, right? So that's pretty good. Now, what I'm going to tell you is it's not going to work now. There, we're, we have a little more work to do, okay? So just just hold on, right? We'll go through and we'll, we'll repair this and get it working again, right? But this is going to have a few problems, right? So we'll, we'll stop here. I'll just show you the problem just so everybody's aware, right? Don't expect everything to work like normal, right? So here's my page. Um, and make sure I got the right file. So it's yeah, index number one, and that's the file here. So I'll refresh it, and oh, it doesn't work. And then down here, you know, if I look in the um, in the console, you know, you can see I have an error, right? It says, hmm, load cart is not defined, right? <clears throat> but, you know, we created a load cart, right? So when I look here at the bottom of my script, you can see I'm calling on the function load cart and display cart, right? And display cart is defined above, but load cart now is attached to the variable, oh, this one is attached to the variable shopping cart. So now anytime we want to call on load cart, we'll have to prefix it with, you know, shopping cart dot load cart like this. Okay, and that's going to happen in more than, you know, just this spot, right? Okay. Um, so we're going to have to do this everywhere. So I'll leave that for you if you want to give it a try on your own, but then I'll go over it again in the next video, okay? So so now everything's attached to shopping cart variable, so we'll need to, uh, you know, have the shopping cart, you know, or access the, these properties or methods from the shopping cart. So I'll put that there, and then you'll see when I refresh this, you know, 
um, I don't get that error, but this part is not working, right? Because, you know, it says list card is not defined, right? So could, we'll have to do the same thing there, okay? So I'll leave that if you want to try fixing it on your own, and then I'll do it in the next video, okay? So thanks for watching, and I hope that was an interesting interlude.